So the three rings in Three Rings Warrior Training have to do with how we interact with the world around us. And if you take a look at my logo, you can see that it's these three rings of ovals in either color or in shades of gray, depending on you know what kind of the logo you'll take a look at. <laughs> and then up the middle is a winding line. It's not straight because our lives aren't this straight thing from beginning to end, right? You know this, we wiggle this way and then we move that way and we wind back again. And, and that's what that curving line is, is reflective of is the way that our lives twist and turn. Sometimes we don't really understand in the moment why it's happening the way it is. But once we're on the other side and we look back, we go, that's why I had to go through that. I had to learn this, or I needed these skills, or I needed this lesson or information, or I needed this moment of enlightenment, <laughs> this knowledge to be able to move forward. Um, and so that's that's sort of the, the imagery of the three rings with our lives going through it. But the first ring is really sort of the foundation of it. And that is how we interact with ourselves, how we connect with our own inner person. How do we see who we are in our lives? Um, and then the second ring is how we connect with other people and society generally. So this could be our spouses, our partners, our children, our brothers and sisters, our mom and dad, um, anybody that's close to us, our friends, our coworkers, anybody that's sort of in that next, you know, section of environment beyond our family. And then our, the society at large, how we interact when we think about, you know, Republicans or Democrats or liberals, or when we think about, uh, you know, people in go government or people in corporations or public opinion or people in this country or that country, right? We, we create these ways of thinking about other people. And that is part of this second ring as well. And then the third ring is how we connect with our environment and the natural world. And this include, it is inclusive of both the uh, environment like Mother Earth, the trees, the animals, um, the plants, the sky, uh, the rocks, and all of that, as well as our own homes and the places where we work. And maybe even that drive back and forth from work when we go and do that. Are we on the subway? Uh, are we in our car? Uh, do we cross bridges? What does our workplace look like? What does our home look like? So that third ring, it includes all of the stuff that is beyond the, our interaction with ourselves and our interaction with other people. It is that third aspect of our environment. So to get a little bit deeper on each ring real quick, um, First, there is how we connect with ourselves. So this is really about learning to love who we are. And before we can truly love other people, we have to begin to learn how to love ourselves. But it can be difficult to be our own cheerleaders, right? It can be difficult to say, I'm good at this, I'm good at that, especially in the society that we live in today, which is often, you know, puts us down if we celebrate ourselves. So the first step is really learning how to celebrate who we are, to, to not have as much judgment about ourselves and learning to communicate this support and love and to celebrate our own magnificent in order to open up the door to see the same potential in others. Because when we can truly honor who we are, that then creates the opportunity for us to do the same with other people. Then there's how we connect to others in society. And this is like, um, as I said, with our families, um, this can be the people in our workplace. And it's really, the, the heart of it is looking through what we want to see and what we think we're seeing to who this person truly is. And I'm going to get a little deeper in, in each of the modules on each of these rings. So this is really kind of just the first take at it here, but it's really learning to allow the individuals, these, the other people that we're seeing that are in our lives, 
allowing them to be their own true unique selves just like we want to allow ourselves to be who we are we don't want to be controlled by other people so in order to give that grace to ourselves we give that grace to other people too we allow them their opportunities to make their own mistakes now this doesn't mean that we allow people to abuse us or to harm us or any of that but it does mean that we acknowledge that we're not perfect therefore other people aren't going to be perfect and to make this belief that if they can't be perfect, I don't want to be around them, uh, part of the way that we see that world, well, that's unrealistic. And so we give ourselves grace and we give other people that same grace. And then it becomes that, what can I do for you rather than why did you do this to me? It, we really start to take on ownership of our lives rather than being influenced by what other people are doing to us. Then finally, that third ring, how we connect and interact with our environment. And really, for me, it has been being able to create space to stop and just take a look at the world around me in different moments saying what's going on in the world look at that bird going by look at this leaf look at this flower look at this plant look at you know if i'm inside my house it might be enjoying the the way that my living room looks or maybe some of the artwork that i have on the wall and really seeing it or on above my fireplace, it says family dance and laugh and really absorbing that and saying, what does that really mean to me? And so it's really taking a look and having a pause every now and then to connect with our environment, to connect with the natural world and not just sort of let it be there as something that is there for us, but something that is a part of us that we're connected to at a very deep level. And when we can communicate that idea of gratitude for the life that we have here and for the world around us, then we start to create um, a warrior's path. That's when, if, when we start to move out of this, um, everything is here for us. What's it? Why isn't this happening for me? Right? Why isn't this, you know, why is this happening to me? When we can begin to say, I am a part of this and I acknowledge this beauty around me unconditionally, that's when we start to take that warrior step. And the reason I use warrior in here is that a soldier, and I honor the soldiers that are out there, but a soldier takes orders. There's a hierarchy and a soldier will take action based on the orders that they're given. A warrior, on the other hand, knows when to say no knows when not to follow orders, works to be true to who they are at the same time of seeking to fight for a higher cause. And that's, that's my idea of a warrior. That's in my world. And so that's why I utilize that because really when, when I go deeper into these three rings, you're going to see that this isn't an easy path. It is not easy waking up to your own inner beauty, to the beauty of other people, even when they're being mean to you or seeking to harm you in some way. Um, and seeing the beauty of the environment and the world around us when we're fe feeling hurt. Um, all of this takes a warrior's step, takes a warrior's uh, uh, force, takes a... a the, the intention of somebody who's going to keep fighting no matter what. And it doesn't mean that you don't have a bad day or you don't want to stop or that you don't want to just go and lay in bed with the covers over your head some days. I, I am right there. There are days when I feel like all I want to do is sit down and stream Netflix. <laughs> and some days I will do that for part of the day because that's just what I, my body wants to do for a variety of reasons. But then I get up, brush myself off and take another step down that warrior's path and decide, okay, what is it that I really want to accomplish today? What is it that I need to, to look at in connection to myself, to other people, to my environment, my world around me? What is 
the bigger picture here and what is it that I want to create today. And again, these are not easy things to do. And that is why you are a warrior. That is why I am a warrior. That is why we are warriors together on this path, because it, you don't just suddenly wake up to one day and you know it all and, and everything's cool and you feel like, oh, the world is beautiful. I mean, you have moments of that, right? <laughs> But it takes effort every single day to continue down that path. You don't just get it and you have it forever. It is something where it takes effort. It takes energy. It takes commitment to continually do that step and step and step as you, as the different things that happen to us in this world happen to us. So I honor you so much by being here with me. Um, by seeking to take these steps of knowledge, of digging in deeper into your own spiritual self, of uncovering who you are and what your spiritual practice is for yourself. It is not an easy step and more people don't do it than do. So you are unique and beautiful in the actions that you are taking. And I honor that so much as we go along this path together.